Your battery just lost $6,000 in value while you've been watching this intro. And no, I am not exaggerating. That's exactly what happens every five years if you've got your battery on the wrong settings. Today, I'll show you exactly when your battery will fail using data from over 700 real installations. And stick with me because I'll show you five quick settings that take two minutes to change and could be the difference between a six-year solar battery death and an 18-year lifespan. I'm John from My Solar Home, and for 15 years, I've been helping homeowners install solar and batteries. And here's the truth that the marketing brochures won't tell you. You'll hear a lot of numbers thrown around. 10-year warranties, 6,000 cycle ratings, even 20-year battery claims. But in the real world, most lithium-ion and lithium ion phosphate systems are built for about 10 to 15 years of useful life. And here's what's crazy. How you use them determines whether you're on the low end or on the high end. So let's dive in. What really decides whether your battery lasts six years or 18? Three factors. Factor number one is the depth of discharge. Draining to near zero every night accelerates wear. Keeping a 10 to 20% reserve lets the cells age much more slowly. Every full 100% cycle costs you about $50 in battery life. That's right. Do it daily, that's $1,500 gone. Sam in San Jose, California learned this the hard way. After six years of training his battery daily to almost zero, his battery simply died. I helped him with his new replacement Franklin battery but it cost him $14,500. That brings us to factor number two, and that's temperature. Batteries hate the heat. If your battery is in a hot Texas garage, you're shaving off years of its life. Even moderate climates really matter. Anything above 86 Fahrenheit speeds up degradation. Freezing conditions, not good either. They reduce usable capacity. So talk to your in installer. Get involved in the design phase. Make sure you decide where the battery is to be installed, whether it's in the garage or in a shaded exterior wall. Make sure you take the best decision for its placement. Even if the location is a little way away from your main panel and maybe it adds a few extra bucks to the install, do it. It'll save you thousands. Factor number three, charge and discharge rate. Rapid charging or discharging at full power stresses the battery cells. It's like flooring a car engine every time you drive. Gentle, steady cycling adds years to the battery's life. So if you're planning to run your air conditioner and your washing machine on the battery, don't run them simultaneously. Run them one after the other. And if you've signed up for a virtual power plant, a VPP program, make sure you read the fine print. Limit the maximum discharge of your solar battery through the VPP program to 20% or higher. Next, let's dig into battery warranties. But here's the catch. Labor isn't covered by battery warranties. Neither Tesla, nor Franklin, nor Enphase provide a labor warranty. That's always from your local installer. Frank was in for a rude $2,000 surprise when his installer demanded that for his warranty replacement. Make sure your installer's labor warranty covers your battery as well. Okay, let's decode some of the fine print on the leading solar battery models. The Tesla Powerwall 3 has a 10-year warranty, unlimited cycle, and they guarantee 70% of original capacity. Sounds great, but Tesla has denied warranty claims for improper installs, even from certified installers. Debbie in North Carolina was stuck with a dead Tesla Powerwall and no support whatsoever. No one would pick up the phone and the internet responses were spotty at best. Luckily, I was able to help Debbie since I have a reliable contact in Tesla and I got her replacement Tesla Powerwall 3 shipped, expedited. She was still down for a full month but that's not really the norm. Reddit threads talk about two to four months minimum for battery replacements. But eventually Tesla does replace their dead Tesla Powerwall 3s. 
They end phase IQ 5 Ps. They have a 15 year warranty or 6,000 cycles. They guarantee 80% at year 15. Enphase is very customer friendly and they're pretty quick to replace damaged battery modules or inverters inside those batteries. So with their modular design, sometimes they're able to just replace a module and have your battery up and running. Franklin A Power 2, they have a 15 year warranty or a 60 megawatt hour throughput, 70% guaranteed capacity at year 15. Also modular and labor coverage depends on your installer. Franklin has outstanding field support. Two of my customers, Dave and Nick in Jersey and Texas, had outstanding service interactions with Franklin. They went above and beyond to solve their battery-related issues. And most of us was related to getting the generator to work with the Franklin battery. So remember, most battery warranties cover only the hardware. The big three cover shipping, labor and diagnostics are extra, and could lead to out of pocket unless your installer covers it all. So warranties aren't always the safety net most people think they are. Get a good labor warranty from your installer. Let's look at what really happens as batteries age. Your battery won't suddenly die one morning. Instead, it gradually loses capacity. For example, a 13.5 kilowatt hour power wall might store only about 11 kilowatt hours after seven years. You might start seeing error codes or notice your battery is refusing to fully charge or discharge. Full electronic failure is rare, but modules do get weak. Some manufacturers swap the entire unit, others let you replace modules. Replacement costs range from $3,000 for a single module to $9,000 plus for a full power wall. Here's a real world example. Brenda in Massachusetts joined a BPP program and she had 47 VPP events last summer. She made a lot of money, $1,200 in payments, but her battery degraded so fast, she's now exploring options for replacement. And her costs are upwards of $12,000. On the other hand, Hector, he's in San Diego, and he's got an Enphase IQ10P system. He's been using it gently with light cycling. And even after six years, his end phase is still holding 90% of original capacity. Two batteries, the same technology, lithium ferrous phosphate, but completely different outcomes. And ta-da, here are the five settings that can save you thousands. These are five settings and habits that can literally add years of life to your system. Number one, manage your backup reserve. Tesla users open their app, go to the power wall, set to 20%. End phase users, go into your Enlighten app and set your discharge limit to 80%. Number two, keep it cool. Install batteries in shaded and ventilated areas. In hot climates, consider mild HVAC or fans. And if you're in really cold climes, an indoor installation in your garage would be your best option. Number three, be gentle with your charging. Don't max charge or discharge daily unless absolutely necessary. Number four, stay updated. Keep firmware current. Updates often improve battery management and that means longer battery life. Number five, monitor performance. It's important that you track capacity trends. If you see any drops or error codes, act early, small fixes, can really prevent major costs. So screenshot this list. Change these settings today, you could save yourself $10,000 or more. So how long do home batteries really last? With reasonable care, most homeowners will get 10 to 15 years. With careful management, some lithium ion phosphate batteries can even push closer to 18 years. But every day you wait, your battery is aging. It's happening right now. So here are your three actions screenshot those five settings and fix them today and subscribe because next week i'm exposing the three big battery mistakes that are costing buyers more than the cost of their solar systems thousands literally don't miss it and before i sign off check out my videos on the best solar batteries 
and the best solar panels in the market today. See you in the next one.